everyone. I'm Aditi Talreja, founder of DeliveryChef.in, which Radha tells me is interestingly the only female-founded company in today's uh, event. Uh, <laughs> thank you. So I hope I'm talking to a room filled with foodies because that will make what I'm about to say for the next four or five minutes a lot more interesting. Um, DeliveryChef.in is actually a company that lets you order your favorite food from your neighborhood restaurants and other eateries. We make it fast, fun, convenient, and cost-effective to order food. So just to give you some background, before starting DeliveryChef.in, I spent five years in New York and London, and that's where the online food ordering culture hit me. Uh, we all had very little time to cook, and I'm not sure how many of you actually cook either. So ordering food from out is the best recourse that we all have access to. And then when I moved back to India here too, I noticed that all my friends, family, we all wanted good food at home. And with the traffic and with the bad weather, it wasn't so convenient to go out and pick it up. And whenever we ordered, sometimes the best restaurant, the number was engaged. Or new restaurants kept opening up and we wanted to check them out. So I thought, why not bring that trend back to India where there is such a big need for it. And that's how DeliveryChef.in came about. So over the past year, we've got a lot of traction from, you know, locals, individuals, households, families, friends ordering from home. We've got traction from expats who have a language issue when they try to order on the phone. And from gifting, like sitting here in Bangalore, you can gift your friend in Delhi a meal maybe, or someone in Bombay a meal using flexible payment options on their birthday or just like that. Um, so it's actually quite simple the way it works. You log into our website, deliverychef.in. Choose when and where you would like your food and hit start. You see a list of all the restaurants that deliver to you along with, you know, the estimated delivery time, what the minimum order is, is there any kind of discount or special deal that you're getting. Choose one. You see the entire menu online. It's pretty interactive. There's a lot of cool features which you can recommend stuff to your friends and things like that. Um, and then choose whatever you want and the restaurant brings the food to your doorstep. Uh, we've got a very, very good response from restaurants. They're very happy to list with us because it's a great source of revenue for them. Delivery business provides a growth platform like no others to the unorganized sector. I don't know how it works in Bangalore, but in, in Bombay, at least there are a lot of women that cook from home, bake from home, do mithais, cakes and things like that, which, you know, are really, really good, but there's no platform to access them. So this actually puts them on the same pedestal as the organized sector and gives them access to the internet, which is one of the most powerful mediums of publicity. Uh, we also offer corporate meal solutions. I'm not going to get into details of those here. I'm sure they'll probably bore you. Um, and we've tied up with over 300 restaurants in Bombay. Most of the top brands are associated with us. We've launched, we're launching in another city in January. I'm not going to disclose that yet. Keep it a secret. We've tied up with 50 restaurants and are ready to go. Um, we've got... Uh, traction, you know, we've got uh, about seven and a half thousand fans on Facebook and we won the e-commerce site of the year award in the What Blog Summit. Uh, we're looking forward to become the market leader in the online food space and the biggest aggregator in related services and uh, hope to come to Bangalore soon. <laughs> Questions? Um, <laughs> I guess in Bangalore they've got quite a uh, name. Um, we're actually a more we're trendy option, we're a preferred option in terms of the convenience. We focus on making the ordering experience very pleasant for the, for the customer, giving him all the relevant information that we wants, uh, he wants. We've understood the Indian consumer in terms of how customization is required. No, generally, we've noticed no one really orders a pizza as it is. Someone wants it less spicy, someone wants butter chicken with less oil, with more... Uh, spice or something like that. So we allow you to do a lot of that and, you know, build a community, basically. I have a question. Uh... Yeah, you can order from multiple places in one order. There is a minimum order, uh, but it's generally very small. It's like 150 or 200. It's generally not large, but of course some places do have large minimum orders. There are user reviews and ratings, so everyone can review a place and then just like on Expedia or on any travel site, it shows you how many people contributed to the rating, so you can judge the quality of the rating. How do you, uh, how do you enable uh, the unorganized sector to, as in is there anything special you do or you also enable them? 
what we do for them is basically with every restaurant that we work with we actually work with them to grow their business so we help them promote we really work with them to see what kind of even with the unorganized sector uh, let's say it's a lady who's baking making mithais from home she's 65 years of age and she's made mithais you know for her entire family all her life but now she wants to do it out of hobby now her products are really high quality they're really good they're really reasonable but she has no way to get it out to the consumer so we sit with her we help her you know someone from the sales team will help her design her menu her uh, products help her come up with offers so we come up with themes like now since it's christmas we've come up with a celebratory theme you know which she can participate in and reach out we do a, we do a bit of marketing for them so that helps i've been told i need to canvas so to vote for us sms at polls space dc in reality tv style to the number <laughs>